Tiff. Oh. Because Mark's messing with the camera. Of course. All the time. A little Tiff, but we're okay now. Yeah. Yeah, because you know what? We're more than friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Mark. I'm Carrie. Welcome to our channel, The Art of RV. Yes. Uh, today's a very special day for us. We are headed to Louisiana. Yep. To state, uh, Lake Vistano State Park. Lake Vistano. They say there's Bigfoots there. First time out with a new camper. It's been a very interesting morning. Yes. Uh, I busted my tail uh, going down the stairs with some wet shoes, split my thumb open. Good. Yeah. Ran over the sprinkler head on the yeah, way out. Ran over, I just replaced it uh, last summer, right? And uh, the yard guys were hurrying us, waiting to get in the driveway. Yeah, um, we had a little tiff. Oh. Because Mark's messing with the camera. Of course. All the time. A little tiff, but we're okay now. Yeah. Yeah, because you know what? We're more than friends. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. All right. It's going to be an adventure. Hey guys, uh, Louisiana. Uh, it's a really nice rest stop. Yeah, a uh, uh, rest stop. Plantation style. Plantation like they, style. <laughs> <laughs> they're redoing it. It's really yeah, nice. It really is. Check this out. Pack a lunch on travel day. And I'm always glad we do because for some reason we're just starving on this day. A little bag with campers on it, a little thermal bag. Got it at Tuesday morning. Um, we've got tuna, low carb wraps pork skins, a little trail mix, some pickles, some plates and napkins, it's kind of windy, a little yogurt, and a couple DPs. Okay, so we just finished eating and we went through about 10 miles of the roughest highway you have ever seen. Oh, true or false, there has been a Bigfoot sighting. There has been a Bigfoot sighting there on Lake Vistano in 1935. It's got to be true. It's a Bigfoot. We're going to find out. Yeah. Yeah. So hang in there with us. Maybe we'll have some Bigfoot adventures. Joy. <laughs> okay. So we made it. We're pulling in. Made it. Great lunch, though. <laughs> yeah. Check out this speed bump, man. Slow speed bump. Get ready. Oh, oh wow. wow, dude, when they say speed bump, they mean... That oh. is intense. Here goes the camera. Okay, so we're making some observations here, uh, like Vistano. Wait till you see the tiny toilets. Mm -hmm. I don't, they're like for toddlers. They're so small. Yeah, or maybe I, a Oompa Loompa. I don't know how older people get off of them because <laughs> they're so low to the ground. And, <laughs> Just and, wait. Yeah, and they have a gigantic men and women sign. You'll see. Oh my, she's right. <laughs> I mean, look at that, y'all. How low it's is like that? 11 it's 11 inches. It's 11 inches off the floor. That is insane. Okay. And now we're going to show you from the itty bitty toilet to the gigantic sign. Look at this sign. It's huge. Seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> in case you're wondering. Wait, come see the women. Hey, this is Mark with the Art of RVing. I am at Lake Bistano State Park in Louisiana. And I have with me Sue Rowell. Yes, that's how you say it. Could you just tell me a little bit on how Lake Bistano formed? Uh, Lake Bistano was formed with a log, it was a log jam back in the 1800s, hmm. and it, it, it was the Red River Log Jam. Uh, Sue, how long has it been a state park? We have been a state park since 1949, and this was actually two different sections. They were, you know, segregated back then, and then we all combined it into one. Hmm. Interesting. Sue, tell me something that separates Lake Bistano State Park from the other parks. We actually have disc golf course here, 
It's an 18-hole disc golf. We have uh, bike trails, hiking trails. You can do fishing here. We have wonderful camping spots. We have now got our cabins back up and going. They've been up and going since October. And we have a lodge that's been going since about four weeks now. Yes, and so something interesting about Vista No State Park is they actually have a BYOH policy here. Could you share just a little bit about that, ma'am? Yes, if you have your own horses, you can bring them in. We have horse trails that goes around the outside of the, our facility. And you can come in for the day and just enjoy the trails. And so that's a BYOH is bring your own horse. horse. Ah, ah, I got gotcha. you. And I understand that there's a, a, you call it a lake drawdown. Could you share just a little bit about that, please? Yes, around about July to August, uh, Wildlife Fisheries does a lake drawdown on us. And that is to try to take care of a giant salvania problem, which is an aquatic plant that we have here that used to be in people's koi ponds. When the heat hits it, it grows fast and it would just take over the lake. So they kind of do a lake drawdown to try to help get it out some more. Hmm. Interesting. And I saw on your website that you actually, when it's drawn down i guess you would say that you can actually walk across it it's an interesting walk isn't it like you can walk across where the water was at at one point yes you can still walk out like around about the cabin area uh, camping area you can still kind of walk to a certain uh, point ever and seen and one other question and uh, be honest here i did some research and so i understand that there's been a couple of bigfoot sightings here actually and Oh my gosh, there's Bigfoot there. Wait. Oh, no, that's just my son. Oh my gosh, I thought that was Bigfoot here. Get over here, man. But I understand truthfully, there actually was a Bigfoot sighting here out there. Hey, Bigfoot. Okay, hey, before we go, we were just talking and Zach was telling me that they come from all over, right? I mean, New York, Canada, mm -hmm. just everywhere. Wow. Hawaii, Germany. <laughs> wow, man. Who would guess? Lake Biston, gotcha. no. Okay, well, we certainly appreciate y'all. Hey, get in here. Let's look at the staff. Get in here. Now, this is what I love them. Now, wave. Tell me, and tell me your names again. Susan. Sue. And Zach. All right, man. We'll see y'all. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Come see us. It's beautiful. Yes. See you yes. later. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey, hopefully you can get the gist of how beautiful this is Absolutely. on camera. I don't know if you can, but the yeah. Spanish moss is yeah. amazing. You have to come here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. We've no, even in Savannah, I didn't see this I much. I don't remember it this much being. Not yeah. this much. It is fantastic. So here's a walk around on my camper here and this is where we keep our water and hopefully this is going to be a crank that I'm going to replace soon. I put my chains back up under my A-frame and I put my jack stand on the jack stand holder and I keep my lock in there to keep people honest and then I put my jack pads under there, which is basically coming from my gym that it's just a piece of thick rubber pad flooring. Then as we come down, I always keep my tires covered, even when I'm at the park. Of course, my water filter with my 90 degree to keep the pressure off the fitting. My outdoor shower here, basically where I wash the dishes. And then you'll notice here that my electrical and my water are both never hit the ground because I don't want any bugs in there. So I basically here, we bring our elect I mean our George Foreman grill and I'm cooking burgers in it now for lunch. Almost done. And then some bread on the top. You can do buns or whatever. This is low carb bread that Mark's li Mark likes. And now over here, we use this electric skillet for everything. 
Um, we don't like to cook like real fragrant foods inside. So this is onions and mushrooms with some A1 for the burgers. And we cooked sausage out here this morning, bacon, anything that's gonna be, you know, stink up the trailer, we cook out here. So, good tip. Okay, so welcome back. I'm with um, Dave and Vicki. And just tell me a little bit about how you guys like to camp and kind of the schedule that you try to follow. Well, we both have grandkids, so our schedule is around the grandkids. We want to be home for Christmases and birthdays and things like that, although we're going to miss Easter. So we usually go out for um, two, three months at a time. Um, in the fall, we went out for two months, and now here we're going to we're going to be pushing a little bit more than two months. Okay. And yeah. so, home yeah. is Chicago. Yep. Okay. In Chicago, and then uh, a mile west of Wrigley Field. Yep. Okay. And one mile west of there. Deep it's in the Chicago. heart of Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So okay. We like we like uh, taking off, especially when it's cold up there. I mean, we sure. love zero degree weather, and yeah, we head south. We don't have plans. We usually just go. Wherever it's warm, that's where we head. Okay. And usually we check the weather app, uh, yeah, yeah. and then we go somewhere it's warmer than here. Everybody uh, always asks us where we're going, somewhere warmer than here. Yes, yeah, anywhere warmer. Yeah. Oh, that would be dreadful, yes. And the last two times out, it was uh, Texas. Texas, okay. Yeah. Is this, tell me about your rig. Is this, is this like in a line of rigs, or is no, this? No, uh, we, we were thinking about camping, and uh, to make, I've never camped. Okay. Never. She's been the camping person, but I went and, uh, Figured, well, I'll try it, and uh, we decided we'd rent before we bought. Uh -huh. So we rented two. Just like this? Uh, no. Uh, we Motorhomes, yes. Motorhomes. Oh, okay. And uh, we just felt like they were too big. Too big. Yeah. Too big. Uh -huh. There was a lot of wasted space. We had trouble maneuvering in the gas stations sure. and going to get groceries and that kind of thing. We felt they were too big. Um, we yeah. came through Indianapolis, stopped at a camping world, and looked at these campers. Uh -huh. We were so enamored of right. them. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up deciding to buy one because it, it, it was the right size for us. Yeah. So Good. Okay. Well. That's interesting. This is a 2018 Thor Compass. It's on a 2017 Ford Transit chassis and it's a diesel and it's 3.2 liter engine. It gets about 14 to 16. The Thor Compass comes with three TVs. There's two inside, one in the living area, one in the bedroom, oh, okay. and they also have one on the outside. Um, I told the salesman I really didn't want it. I'd rather have the storage. He said, yeah, but that's the way they come. So the Thor Compass, in this model anyway, came with a instant on hot water heater. And, uh, for the most part, it, it does well, except for taking showers and stuff, because if you try and save water and turn off the water, when you turn it back on, it gets cold again. The Thor that we got has a slide out that comes out the rear. They have others that go out the side, but we wanted the rear slide out. Like that. Uh, being new to RVing, I wanted to make sure our water was good no matter where we went because we figured we'd find different quality. So I looked online and there's a filtration system called EcoFlow. It's for RVs. Um, this uh, compartment holds the LP tank. Uh, I believe it's a 12 gallon tank and uh, it, the refrigerator and the uh, furnace and the generator run off the LP. The display that lets you know what the DEF level is on the uh, on your DEF tank because this is a diesel so you got to keep uh, the DEF levels up to snuff or you're gonna have performance problems. Okay we are inside our compass and this is the kitchen area. Um, one of the things that we really like, we like the lighter cabinetry, but we like that the doors open up instead of hitting you in the head and you can see I use um, trays to put almost everything in so things don't fall out and slide out and all that stuff. So the heavy stuff is all in trays. We have another one here. One of the things that we did add was we added this stainless steel piece because our cooktop when you are got grease flying all over everywhere this makes it nice and easy to clean up. And then we have one sink for doing dishes and this is a microwave convection oven combination so you can bake in it and you do your microwaving this is an induction cooktop i forgot to mention that you have to have something that's magnetic we bought a pan and couldn't use it because it wasn't magnetic <laughs> there's my pans all under there i have two pots and a fry pan that's what we come with 
And then over here, we have the dining room and living room. So there's more storage up here. Again, everything's in trays. And Dave does not travel without his latte machine. So his two most important things to Dave, his latte machine and his popcorn popper. So we have our Corel. I don't like plastic dishes, so we bought them all people. Hey, we made this spot for Ava so she could see and she rides more comfortably. So this is Ava's spot. Two big foam pillows. 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 Up here is a little extra storage for our backpacks for when we're hiking. Then we have the silverware and prep drawer, knives and that kind of thing. And then on this is the living room bedroom combination. So you can use it like this when you're not sleeping. When we're traveling, it retracts. Would like there are drawers underneath for clothes. That's Ava's bed and that's Ava's teddy. Ava does not travel without Teddy. Teddy comes to bed with her every night. I'm going to show you how the bed comes down. There is the bed ready for sleeping. Now I'm going to show you our fairly unique bathroom. This has an ensuite. So this is just normally a hallway, but if you want an ensuite bathroom, you open this door, close the hallway, and you now have an ensuite. There's the bathroom. Again, I said we used every space. As you can see, this is not a shower. This is storage. And there you have it. That's my camper. And we felt we'd give you the last features, the, our own skylight, which is, runs a, it's got a shade that comes down and blocks everything. Thanks for watching and uh, bye. Bumper covers on, rubber, better. And inside here, I put a little red paracord on like this, and you're wondering what this is. Now I'm gonna hope to show you here. So I always have the same problem, is when I dump at the dump station, my hose sags down, and it just, the, all the stuff is in the sack. And you have to keep lifting it up, and it's all flimsy. So here's the plan, and you put it over my tank and hopefully I'm gonna put my hose on here and the hose is going to come straight down this and hold it stiff as I dump it so come along with me we'll find out So I'm leaning over because we're not driving. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we we just stopped for lunch and we are headed home from Lake Bistano State Park. Great, great time. Yep. Nice park. We really highly nice. recommend it. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. Uh, what did you like about Lake Bistano State Park? Um the Spanish moss. They have mm -hmm. trees there. The cedar. I mean, um, cypress trees mm. and Spanish moss. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Real different than anything we have in East Texas. So, yeah, it was beautiful to see those. It was yeah. quiet. It was a nice quiet park. Super quiet. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. It's worth it if you guys get a chance to go to Bissonneau State Park, Louisiana.
Mm-hmm. I would I would definitely go. So we had a good time. I mean the and we had a deck that was outside our yes. um, uh, camper. It was like an elevated deck. It was huge. That I was mean, very nice. Yeah, you'll yeah. see it on the video. And yeah. so that made a huge difference mm-hmm. for us too. So yeah. all the people that worked there were uh, yeah. super great. Yeah, super nice. So yeah, so overall I'd say that was a very good experience. Yeah. yeah. So y'all go check it out. Thanks for coming along. You betcha. Later. Bye. One more. You ready? Why? What are we doing wrong? <laughs> just, 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 what are we doing wrong? <laughs> You're